Hello and welcome to GMIT Library. Maura here and I'm going to do a very short video on looking for library ebooks and reading them online. So if you've attended any of our training sessions already, you may be familiar with our main library page, library.gmit.ie. This is also our main search page and our main information page. For searching for library material from any of our collections, we want you to use this half of the screen that has the blue headed banner over it, uh, where you can come in and search by keyword by just using the little search box here under search and find. Or you can search a specific collection from the menu in the middle here. Over on the right hand side is where you go for the library information. So under the red banners, you have links to FAQs, login to your account, opening hours, online tutorials, and all the library guides are available there. So we're going to do a search by keyword. We're just going to type a keyword in the search box here. Below the search box, we can tell the system we just want to look for keyword which will bring this word in from anywhere, or we just want the word to be in the title or in fact an author's name. So naturally, we're not gonna look through any list that long. So what we're going to do is go into the advanced search option and we can focus a little bit more by selecting the field from which we want the search word to come. So instead of saying keyword, we're going to say we want this uh, word to be a subject. As it is, the word could appear anywhere in the title or even the author's name, table of contents, description of the item, abstract of the journal article. And remember, you're searching through all library content here as well. So we're going to focus on leadership as a subject. We'll throw another couple of words in as well. When we added the terms and change the index, we do get a reduced number. So we're down to 2,911. This is still all content types. So we're looking for eBooks specifically. So scroll down and look for the limit to option and you can say eBooks here. You can also narrow down by date as you may have noticed here. So if we wanna have a look at something from this list, it doesn't matter what it is. The information about the book will you will find when you click on the title. You see the title at the top. You also see the author and the publication information. And then under description, this is what will be like the blurb at the back of a book. And you have the subjects that are associated with this book. And this is why this book came up for us, because leadership as a subject is in there. And you also see it in the broader categories. You get some more information if you look at the most relevant pages from this ebook by scrolling down. So here you will see our search terms emboldened. So we'll be able to see the context in which they've been used. And further down, you have the full table of contents of this particular book. So again, you can click on any of these links and it will bring you straight in there. But to look at the book as a whole, what we click on is the full text button. And you'll see these are usually in green. And when you click on the link, it will bring you straight to the book. The first thing is the cover. And you've got your navigation at the bottom. So we can use the arrows to go forward and back. Or if there's a particular chapter that you know you need to look at, we can use the navigation on the left to find that chapter. Straight into the first page of that particular chapter. One thing we can do is add it to our folder at the top. So this is the personal folder associated with our own account. So that means we'll have a record of this book there when we come back and we'll be able to go back into it um, and view it online again. We also have the option to cite. So Harvard is uh, the general one if it's business studies. And you can use the dictionary. You can export the book out to um, EndNote if you want to keep the reference of it there in a separate library. Or if we just want a link to come back to this or a link for our citation, you have the permalink. And just a word about the linking. Usually it will link you to that exact page that you're on. So if you want the link to the whole book, you might be better just to go back to the cover page. 
And the other thing is always use the permalink as the link and don't copy the link from the uh, browser bar at the top because that's linked to the session. Okay, so we'll just use our back button here in the blue bar at the top to return to the list that we had. We can just try another book here, The No Nonsense Guide to Leadership. And we'll see there is a button there that says full download for this. So if we click on the download button over on the right hand side for full download, it will prompt you for the download box. So again, you've got the details and the download will be just like having a, a local copy on your device for a period of time. So it's similar to checking out a book from the physical library. And in this case, we'll see you can borrow it for seven days. So if you have your seven days has gone up, what will happen is the book will expire from your account. But you can always go back in and download it again. So there's no restriction like that on it. One requirement you will need is to have Adobe Digital Editions installed on your device. And if you don't have that button ticked, this download button won't be available. Adobe is ebook reader software that also controls the DRM of the book. So it will know how long you have the availability for. You also have the option to download chapters from an ebook. And with the chapter, you'd be restricted to the number of pages, but you're not restricted to the length of time you can have it. But do remember, you are only restricted to one chapter per ebook. If we go back and try a different search, it does remember that I'm looking for ebooks. So it will bring up ebooks for me. And if we want to have a look at this first one here, and we have the full text button here. So just to open the full text, and just to show you this one is in a different interface because it's a ProQuest ebook. We have the same um, type of information available here telling me we can read it online, but we can also download this ebook and we can download a PDF chapter for up to 92 pages. Links to the chapters, so we can go directly to a particular chapter. Reader is very similar. We have our zoom options here at the top. So if we wanted to make it bigger or smaller, depending on our own preferences. We also have the option here to annotate. So if there's particular parts of this book that we're using and it's important information we might need to come back to for our exam or something, we can bookmark individual pages. It may be useful, particularly if you wanted to highlight a paragraph that's important or maybe put a little note in here. And this will be just here for our own information. It's just what's linked to my own personal account. It won't be there for anybody else viewing this book from the GMIT library. Closing out that tab there and going back to the results list. So you can also add these books into your own personal folder. If you want to keep this for again, if you want to come back to this ebook, we don't have time to read it now, but this will be useful to me, especially if I'm doing a dissertation or an essay on this topic. Uh, so I'm going to save it. And when you are looking at the information you've saved, there's a link to your folder up here. So these will be all the items you viewed, not just today's items uh, that you decided were worth saving into your folder. They're categorized here by the different types of material. So we have a heading for eBooks and we can look at all of these here. Uh, we can also make a custom folder by just clicking on the new button and saying, this is for dissertation or this is for my year three college assignment or whatever name we want to give it. So it's just a very, very handy way of coming back to the eBooks we've looked at. So hopefully that will have given you a little bit of information about the eBooks from GMIT Libraries. If anybody's having any difficulties, please email us using library at gmit.ie and we'll get back to you and we can organize a training session on eBooks if it's required. So very many thanks for your attention.